All right, let's solve this problem together. We've got to find the mean and standard deviation for these two teams right here. If you read through the problem, you see that we've got to compare the mean and standard deviation. So let me show you what I think is the fastest way to do this problem. On your graphing calculator, go to your lists. Clear off any old data, right? Scroll up to the very top, hit clear and enter. And then enter in the data they give us. 4, 8, 5, 12, 3, 9, 5, 2. That's our first one. Second one. 5, 9, 11, 4, 6, um, 2, and 7. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 data points here. Oh, I must have missed something in my second list. Let's see what happened. Sorry. Quick check. 5, 9, 11, 4, 6, oops, second 11, 2, and 7. Okay, so now I know I have enough data points. So now we're going to analyze that data really quickly. Press stat, go back to calc, and the one variable statistics will tell us the mean and standard deviation at the same time. So first we do it for list one. Hit enter. X bar is our mean. So the mean for team A is six. So I'm going to write this down. Mean is six. And standard deviation, there's two standard deviations right here. They're really close to each other. The SX is a sample deviation. Sample deviation is if you only have a small sample of your set, right? If you don't have all the data. We'll use this standard deviation down here because we have all of the data. So our, our standard deviation is about 3.16. So I'll write that down. Standard deviation for this data points is about, oops, 3.16. And then we do the same thing for the second team. We go back to stat, calc, one variable statistics, and now we do this for list two. And now our mean is 6.875, 6.875, and what is our standard deviation? Let's see what that is. It's about 3.05, 3.0593, which is about uh, 3. Point, um, sorry, 3.10. Right, or 3.1. So I notice that the mean is greater for team B. So choices 2 and 4 can't be correct. I know the standard deviation is better, is higher, excuse me, uh, for team A. So it has to be choice 1. Standard deviation of A is larger than B. All right, I hope this helps.